So the ingredients that you need for the paleo soft pretzel recipe are you need tapioca flour, half a cup, one cup of coconut flour, half a cup of water, one egg, half a teaspoon of baking soda, half a teaspoon of baking powder, two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar, half a teaspoon of salt, and then half a cup of butter. You can replace this with ghee or olive oil. Okay, so you're gonna take your butter, or again, I said you can use ghee or um, olive oil. Just go ahead and set that in there. And you're gonna add your butter, your water, your salt. Oh, my salt kinda stuck on there, so let me get that off. And your vinegar to a saucepan or a pan and you're just gonna let that warm up and come to a boil and you're just gonna let it boil for a second so I'm just gonna go ahead and come back to you when this starts boiling okay so this has started boiling and I just pulled it from the stove um, now what you're gonna do is you're gonna want to add in the tapioca flour And then you're just going to want to give it a nice mix. It's actually a little bit more in there. And you can see it's it's definitely kind of Gelling up here, or firming up. Just give it a nice mix. You don't really have to do it for two minutes, you know, just until it's pretty solid, like you see right now. And then we're going to add in our baking soda. Our baking powder. Baking powder is going to make this a little bit foamy when it reacts with the um, vinegar in this recipe. it's kind of like expanding even more that's just the again the baking so baking soda reacting with the vinegar this stuff is almost like I don't know like a taffy reminds me of it just the texture of it just get it all mixed in there together it smells really good Now we're going to add in our coconut flour. I never just add half, I just dump it all in there. You're going to get that kind of mixed together. I would start with this because you want this to cool off maybe just a little bit more before you go ahead and add in that egg. So, let's see it. Kind of a bear to mix this way. Let's see how hot it is. Okay, I'm gonna add in my one large egg. Okay. 
Okay, and so the egg is just going to kind of help get the flowers mixed together. It might not do the perfect job. You might have to rely on... <gasps> Did this cook? Oh, okay. Woo! I thought, oh Lord, am I working with scrambled eggs here? It's just the egg and the coconut water. Just make sure that they are, the egg does not cook or you're, it's just not going to work. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and grab a piece of parchment paper. Actually, I'll grab my, um, my silk pads. I highly recommend getting a silk pad if you do a lot of baking gluten-free baking, paleo baking. Okay. So I'm just gonna, there you can see there's a little bit left in here. I'll end up adding this to it. It just needs to get kneaded a little bit more. You really gotta get in there and just get the flowers to combine. I'll get all that flour into this mixture. And you're going to need it for a good minute or two. So it's really neat because it's warm on your hands. So much like a traditional dough. You can see how I'm just pounding this thing and it's just like, give me more. Let's do that. Let's add some more of our flour in here. Great arm workout. And you're just going to keep doing that until you can get, I would say, all of the flour combined in there. If you want, you could just say, no, nah, I don't want to add the rest of that, but I just want to show you that you can do it if you feel like doing it. So. There's that. That's how much is left in there. It's not very much. I'm just going to go ahead. Add this to the dough. This is going to make a mess. So. If you're afraid of being making a mess, you shouldn't be cooking. Go ahead. I think that's good. So weird, the, the, the apple cider vinegar almost gives us a yeasty smell. Okay, there's our dough. I'm gonna chuck this stuff on the silk pot. It kinda drives me nuts. Okay, so you have your dough. And what you're gonna wanna do is you're going to want to take a pinch off of it. And so I'll just take a pinch. Just a pinch. Go ahead and roll it out like this. I'm going to make sure you can see this. Okay, I'll move over just a little bit. Okay. Um, probably about a half inch. Probably do this again. So roll out your dough, just like this. Actually, it needs to be a little bit longer. 
I'm so bummed because I came up with these awesome tapioca recipes. I'm pretty sure I'm allergic to tapioca, which sucks because this is so good. I might just deal with having a, I get rashes on my arms when I eat them. So voila, we have a pretzel. Um, I don't have it ready, but what I will do in a second here is uh, melt another small, you know, like a half a teaspoon, or sorry, a tablespoon of butter. Brush the top with butter. Again, if you don't want to use butter, use olive oil or use ghee, but the butter just, I don't know, it makes it more of a pretzel like, um, makes it taste more like a pretzel to me. So roll it, do a little arm thing, and uh, brush the tops with butter. And then sprinkle on half a, just sprinkle on some salt. I'll just say that. However much, everybody likes a different amount of salt. You can use coarse salt, you can use fine salt, whatever you want to do. You could get fancy and you could bake these with some Parmesan cheese on the top if you eat cheese. Um, of course, I'm out of the frame. Let me get back in the frame. So you can see. I know that some people have had issues with this crumbling. They might, seriously, the second it starts to boil, pull it off of the stove. You don't want that water to evaporate. Maybe that's an issue that you're having. Um, what else? Um, that's, that's probably what I'm thinking is maybe just kind of letting it sit on there too long as soon as it starts to boil. But I'll go ahead and make four of these. Um, I'm actually going to be using this recipe to make pretzel dogs. So I'm just going to show you right now a photo of what the finished product looks like. And if you have any questions, email me, tweet me, etc., etc. I always write back, I promise. And so you can see. You've got your Paleo Soft Pretzels. I'll put an image of what the finished product looks like. And then, again, I uh, hope you enjoy this one, guys. Thanks. Bye.